Good morning. So this video, I'm going to show you what a day looks like doing peritoneal dialysis manually. So at the beginning of the day, I set out all the supplies that I'm going to need. So I do four exchanges. So you can see I've got four bags here. And each um, exchange, when I put the fluid inside me, they call it dwell time. And that means the fluid sits in your peritoneal cavity for four hours. That's for me. You may be different. So um, the whole therapy takes about 16 hours. So the first thing that I do is I take the first bag that I'm going to do for my first exchange and I put it in the heating pad. And I turn it on to high and I, um, this doesn't really heat up the fluid all that well, but at least it's better than nothing. So while that's heating up, I give it about at least a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. But while that's heating up, I'll probably um, start breakfast, probably just oatmeal because I, you know, I don't have a lot of energy. But I'll also take my blood pressure, and I'll take my weight, and then I will write that down. And I'll be back when I'm ready to do my first exchange. I've written down my blood pressure and my weight, so now I'm ready to start therapy. All right, the first thing is I gotta get everything set up on my IV pole. So, got my bag all heated up. Feels a little bit warmer, that's good. Gotta get it open. It's got a little notch in there that actually is gonna help me open up because I'm not very strong. open up. I have another video that kind of goes through a little more detail about this. I'm going to get this open up. Squeeze it. Check it. And then I'm going to hang it. Alright. Alright, I'm going to now, I'm going to prep this and get it all ready to go. All right, I'm not going to show the rest of the video of this getting ready. I'll be back after I do my two minute hand wash and I'm ready to hook up. Now that I'm all hooked up, I don't need my mask anymore. Sometimes, I hooked up out here in my bedroom, but sometimes if my husband is still sleeping or the kids are out, I actually wheel this whole thing into the bathroom, make sure all the doors are closed and I'll hook up there. But after that, I come out and I usually sit down. I have a chair here prepared for me just because standing up for a long time, I start to feel dizzy. I don't feel very good. So I'm going to do my therapy sitting down takes about 20, 25 minutes for it to drain and about that same length to fill up. It can take different times depending on an individual. The nurses said that I had a really good catheter and things move pretty quickly. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna probably read a little bit until I'm done with this exchange. All right, I'm all done filling. I like to put um, both of the red clamps on just so I'm in the habit of that. You also want to make sure your twist clamp is closed on your catheter. So I used a yellow this morning and it's going to dwell inside my peritoneal cavity for about four hours. So now I'm ready to do my two minute hand wash and deconnect myself. So I'm going to get my mask and get that on. Also, I'm gonna get my a cap for my catheter ready. You wanna get that opened and set out before you do your two minute hand wash so everything is ready to disconnect. So I'm gonna head into the bathroom and take care of all that. Now that I'm disconnected, I'm free to go about my day and do those things that I want to do or that I've planned. I'm not hooked up anymore. The fluid is just gonna sit inside me for about four hours. The next step that I'm gonna to need to do for my therapy is about an hour or a 
half an hour before I want to do an exchange, I'm gonna put the next bag in the heater. They had me start doing um, PD two weeks after I got my catheter. That's pretty much as, as soon as you can start doing um, therapy. So I still rest a lot because uh, I'm still recovering from that. So it's been about three and a half hours since um, I put the first fluid inside. And so I've, I've eaten, I've gotten, taken a shower, but now I'm gonna head up and start warming up my next bag of fluid. All right, here goes bag number two. To the heater. Put it up on high. Get all warmed up. Now that my second bag is heated up and ready to go, I'm gonna open it, I'm going to hang it up on my IV pole, and I'm going to do a full exchange. That means that the fluid that's already in my belly, I'm gonna drain that out first. It's gonna go into that drain bag, and then I'm going to fill the new fluid into my peritoneal cavity. And after I'm done with that, that's when I'm going to weigh the drain bag so I know how much fluid pull was pulled off of my body. Now I need to weigh my drain bag. The amount of fluid that I put into my body weighs about 2,000 grams. So when I weigh this, whatever is over the 2,000 grams will be how much fluid was pulled from my body. Just like your kidneys pull fluid and then you're able to use the restroom, this is kind of what this does. And make sure that you write it down. All right, I'm on to the third bag. This all heated up too. All right, now I finished with my second full exchange. So this is bag number three. Is now that fluid is now in my peritoneal cavity. So in another three and a half hours, I will warm up the last bag. But I want to talk a little bit about um, the used fluid that's in the drain bag. So you'll want to check to make sure that that's nice and clear. It's gonna look a little bit like urine. It's not gonna be quite as dark, but there is a yellow tinge to it. It doesn't smell like urine. You know that ammonia smell. It's it's not. It's it's. It really doesn't have much of a smell. Now, when I first started doing this peritoneal dialysis, the fluid was tinged kind of pink because I was still healing from the getting the PD catheter in. Last bag of the day. Between the exchanges, I'm free to do whatever I have enough energy for. So I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, what does it feel like to have that fluid in your peritoneal cavity? It's just under four and a half pounds. So you really, for me, I really don't notice it too much. I did lose a lot of weight from being so ill. I'm actually down to how much I weighed in middle school because they don't want to start doing dialysis until pretty much your kidney function is completely gone. So you get really ill. I was worried that it would kind of slosh around. You know how if you drink a lot of water in your belly, it'll kind of slosh around, or if you lay down, you can kind of, you can feel it moving around. But this uh, fluid in your peritoneal cavity, it's not sloshing around, it's not moving around. There is a little bit of fullness and a little bit of weight, so I can tell it's there. I can tell I've got fluid in my belly, but it's not hindering me from doing things. I do like to go for walks. They're not very long because I'm recovering from the surgery of getting the PD catheter and you know, still recovering from being really ill. It's amazing how much better you feel when you're able to start doing dialysis. Just, you can just tell a little difference. You're like, I am, I'm not getting worse. <laughs> Things are starting to move the other direction, which is huge because you spend so much time just slowly getting sicker and sicker as your kidneys fail. So I want to show you here I am walking upstairs and it's not sloshing around. There's just, just a little bit of extra weight, but it's not hindering me. It's not annoying. It's just, it's just kind of there and in the background. 
I have now finished therapy for the day, so I'm going to take this all down. I'm going to drain uh, what's in my drain bag in the bathtub. That's where I drain it. And I'm going to put everything away until tomorrow when I need to start again. I'm also going to take my blood pressure again before I go to bed and write that information down.